I want to start today a little bit differently because many of you have asked me to comment on the events in Israel and Gaza, and I want to do so even though I want to begin by reminding everyone of a famous remark by a journalist. I believe it was an American journalist who said, the first casualty in every war is the truth. Very, very hard to know what is the truth, to know who to believe, and so on. Having said that, the struggle between Israel and the Palestinians goes back at least to the middle of the previous century. There have been tensions, wars, conflicts, one after another for many, many years. What that proves is that an agreement, a working out of differences, has not been achieved. The efforts of those who tried were not successful. Honesty requires admitting that. And now we see every day the horrors of having kicked that problem down the road, having made agreements that weren't real, that weren't sustainable, that weren't wanted by one side or the other, or often both. The horror has to stop. I believe the majority of the world will agree in five minutes that a ceasefire, an end to killing large numbers of people, wounding many, driving the economies both of the Palestinian area and of Israel down at a time when no one in the world can afford it. All that has to stop. And a ceasefire at least does that. And then there has to be an agreement worked out. I know it will be difficult. I have no illusions. History teaches us that. But that's the best we can do. It is the choice we ought to make. And then the world has to guarantee that an agreement that min uh, meets the minimum demands of both sides be what we're after without killing one another in the process.